Back in July of 2013, Toronto was hit with the worst flood in the city's history. More than 100 millimeters of rain poured down and drowned the GTA. Commuters were stranded on highways in waist deep water. Some trains were stuck on tracks for over seven hours. And key intersections and roads were completely submerged as the rain kept coming. In Toronto's West End, numerous golf courses were affected, making some fairways and greens appear more like lakes. In the case of Islington Golf Club, it was dealt an enormous blow as seven greens were severely damaged and the picturesque 18th fairway had a river running through it. As bad as it seemed, the storm may have been a blessing in disguise as it pushed Islington into speeding up renovations and improvements way ahead of schedule. The course before the flood was a great golf course. Uh, it, you know, it had some traditional old features of, you know, sand flashes with bullnose look. It had some great character greens. The membership took the opportunity to improve the golf course for years to come. And you can see with uh, the amount of play that's been out this year, the whole membership is excited. The new greens are offering a different advantage, different playability. The new grass, the bent grass, they're able to putt smoother, truer ball rolls. You know, we have some new design greens, some restoration greens, and it's given the club an opportunity moving forward to be, you know, succeed for years to come. The club brought in Canadian designer Ian Andrew to make changes to all 18 of their greens and surrounding bunkers. The result is a course with pristine putting surfaces that can handle anything Mother Nature throws at it. Now it's receiving high praise from his members. Ian Andrew is a hands-on architect. He's, he's on site daily whenever required. He, he takes pride in everything he does. He, he does have a lot of old school thought processes in his designs of greens with steep grades, uh, bunkering to you know bring the sand flashes back up but at a minimal approach but shows the sand flashes like Stanley Thompson used to use in his day with the high sand flashes. Uh, he does like steep greens which is a classic of older golf course architecture with steep greens so, which and again enhances our ability as a superintendent to maintain healthier greens throughout the process. Opened back in 1923, Islington Golf Club was designed by Canada's greatest course architect, Stanley Thompson. This is the same gentleman who designed the great Highlands Links in Cape Breton. Both Fairmont Jasper Park Lodge and Fairmont Banff Springs in Alberta. And the beautiful Capilano Golf and Country Club in West Vancouver. And now Islington Golf Club has restored its greens to closely match Thompson's original master plan. So one of the exciting parts of being at Islington Golf Club is it is a Stanley Thompson design. Stanley Thompson is a very famous Canadian golf course architect. There's a lot of pride in our members when they say that they belong to Islington Golf Club and it's a Stanley Thompson design. Some of the new green sites that we have have brought back some of his ideas and some of his thought processes from way back in the early 1920s. As fantastic as the improvements have been for the greens, perhaps the most drastic change was made to the 15th hole. We were unable to grow great grass down in the floodplain. It was flooded constantly, silt would build up, shade, wind, air circulation was always a concern. So the membership took the opportunity in the fall of 2013 after we got the approval from the TRCA to move the green and elevate it into the air, which created a great par three now. With a new green, new bunkers, new wetland, new views, it's a far superior golf course. You know, the members have really enjoyed uh, the change to the hold. It plays a lot more difficult than the, score, than the yardage shows. Meanwhile, the practice facility was also given a facelift as there's a hitting bay to practice your long irons and woods. While just a stone's throw away from it lies a solid short game area for putting and chipping. We don't have any starting time, so everything has come on a first come, first serve basis. One of the great value adds we've added to the golf course is our new practice area. We've got a 100 feet wide by 100 feet deep, 40 foot high hitting, hitting area that you can hit every golf club in your bag inside there. In the past we had a short game area that was 140 yards long and you were limited to whatever golf club you would hit in that. Now this new area has really uh, Im helped improve our members. They've given more time to practice, more time to, uh, to prepare themselves a little bit better before they tee off. Changes to the clubhouse include a cool fireside bar with an enormous wine selection and a great view of the 18th fairway. The intriguing part of this entire renovation is that there are new membership options that make playing at this incredible private club in Toronto affordable for anybody who loves the game. We're no longer a, an equity club. Um, we're now selling 
memberships uh, based on a market-driven system. It's a wonderful uh, time to consider membership at Islington. Uh, we've had a lot of new members uh, this year, uh, and I think the, the changes the club has made recently, uh, not only to the golf course, but to the clubhouse, uh, has really made it an attractive place to come and consider membership.